Imagine you are sending a box of chocolates to your friend. You pack 100 chocolates, seal the box and ship it. But the delivery guy eats half of them during the trip. Your friend opens the box, sees only 50 chocolates and reasonably assumes you sent 50. There is no clue that anything went wrong on the way. Your friend doesn't have an option to verify what was originally sent and what is actually received. That's exactly how silent data corruption works. To avoid this, the next time you send chocolates, you attach a tiny note that says 100 chocolates inside. Now even if the delivery guy eats some of them, your friend immediately notices the mismatch. The box contains 50, but the note claims 100. The little note is your checksum. A checksum is nothing more than a small piece of information attached to your data, so the receiver can verify whether the data was changed, corrupted or tampered with. The note doesn't fix the missing chocolates, but it exposes the problem. Now let's see how this works in the technical world. Computers don't send chocolates, they send bytes. To create that note inside the box, the computer runs the data through a small math formula and gets a short number. That number is the checksum. The exact method to calculate checksum varies, but the idea is always the same. Take all the bytes, do some math and get one final number. Once the data reaches the receiver, the computer repeats the exact same math on the data it received. It calculates its own checksum from those bytes. Now the receiver has two things. The checksum sent by the sender, the checksum it just calculated. If both numbers match, the data is safe. The bytes didn't change on the way. If the numbers don't match, something was changed or corrupted. Even a tiny bit flip will produce a different checksum. Checksums are most commonly used in several areas to identify data corruption. For example, files downloaded from internet comes with the checksum. After downloading, your computer calculates the checksum again. If both numbers match, the file is safe. If not, something went wrong during the download. When two computers talk, each packet of data carries a checksum. If any bit changes on the way, the checksum will not match and the packet is thrown away. Hard drives, SSDs and even databases use checksums internally to make sure the data hasn't corrupted. Checksums may sound complex, but the idea is straightforward. It is just a small number that helps the receiver check whether the data arrived safely. Just like the note inside the chocolate box helps the friend spot missing chocolates, a checksum helps computers spot missing or changed bits. It doesn't fix the problem by itself, but it makes sure the problem doesn't stay hidden.